Hello everybody and welcome back to Court Farms. We are going to be doing quite a lot of work today. Lots of different jobs actually. Despite us bringing the combine to this field, we are not going to be doing this for the entire episode because I would like to get the New Holland going on a cultivator and also, if we can do, um, it would be good to actually do some animal work as well because obviously, as I was explaining in the previous episode, we actually lost all of our animals and despite us rebuying some cows, they now don't have any feed and also we don't have any sheep so there, there is some work which has to be done but I'd just like to get all this set up first of all it doesn't look like a very difficult field really because it's a it's a fairly simple shape and also there's no hedgerows so we should be okay I'm gonna put it on a, on a worker the only thing which will cause a problem is the telegraph poles but they're in the middle So there's the combine harvester, that is going nicely. We will put the header trailer out of the way and then we will come back to the field with this tractor and the trailer. We don't really have a very big trailer, which is a bit unfortunate really. We'll have to update it in a few episodes time. But for now we need to concentrate the money on the really important things. At least we have a trailer. I'm not totally sure what trailer we're going to go for. Whether it's the, the Marshall trailer or another one entirely. We could also actually use the Stuart trailer. Because that's a really good one too. The trailer is down here. So we'll get it attached. It's the one from Gold Edition. And although the capacity of it isn't actually too bad, you can attach two together, which actually might not be a bad idea. The only problem with that is tipping. Tipping might be a bit of an issue. Reversing it through. But we'll take it to the field ready, and then we'll head over back to the yard here, and we will sort out a cultivator. Because field number eight, which we were doing yesterday, moving the bales, that really does want to be cultivated because that is the field which we're going to do the potatoes in and as soon as we can get it planted the sooner we can get it harvested really would like to do some potato harvesting on this map so we should be okay there it's all good right so that's the Massey Ferguson and here's the New Holland again we're not going to be using the New Holland too much because I know that a lot of you don't like me using it but oh that's weird oh <laughs> a sticky ground um, yeah, although we will be using it a little bit, obviously, because we need to set it up. Now that's our cultivator. With a bit of luck, this will pull it. It's quite a big cultivator, and before we were actually using the Sammy tractor to pull it. If it can't do it, we'll put the case on it, because this is only a T5. So let's just check the requirements of it, just so we have a rough idea of whether it will pull it or not. It's this one here, 205 horsepower. Well, I'm pretty sure that New Holland isn't 205 horsepower. So we might have a bit of an issue. All of the uh, vintage tractor mods there. Right, where is it? Here it is, T5. I think it's this one here. Only 115. Wow, that is, that is a big power difference. So it looks like we'll probably be putting the case on it. And even that I don't think is enough horsepower. 203, oh, that's fine. That'll be fine. So, yep, that is what we're going to have to do then. We will take the front loader off and put it out of the way. And I'll just head over to the field, swap this tractor with the case, and then we'll put the case on the cultivator and get it going. combine is still going only 28% full that is an issue when we don't actually fertilize the fields because we get a much lower yield but we will be using the roller next time we do a field so we'll always have high productivity which is what we really need in fact this tractor is a very good fitting for this trailer it fits it really well 
just the right size. Always attaches to that upper hitch. I think we can leave the combine, it's getting on fine. We will turn the tractor's engine off though. And let's go and start cultivating field number eight. So that's our field, just there. We've just moved all the bales from it, so it's nice and empty. There's our combine. Something I really like about this map is how easy it is to work on, because all the fields are so close to the yard. The yard is relatively central to the map, so it's always quite easy. Now, does this hedgerow have a collision? I think it does. Yes, it does. So that is going to be a bit of an issue for a worker. Um, so yes, that, that actually is a, a bit of a, a massive issue. We might have to do a headland first, which is not something I want to do. But to get around that problem, that is what we have to do, I think. So I'm going to put two headlands up and down. And then I'll come back and we will resume. So that is... That is the way to do it, to stop a worker from crashing into the hedge. I know it's not the realistic thing to do. Ideally, I'd want to cultivate the headland last, but as we're not going to be doing this field ourselves, it'd be a worker doing it. This is pretty much the only solution, I think. But that should be enough for it to turn around. Otherwise, it'd be crashing into the hedge the whole time. And of course, I'll do the same thing to the field at the other end as well. So that when it gets to the top of, up there, it doesn't crash either. Right, so it didn't let us do that bit there because it says you don't own the field. That is obviously because we don't own number 10. Sometimes the boundaries can creep over. Uh, I'm sure if we bought number 10, that problem would go away. It's just at the moment we can't afford it. But I think that should be good enough for it to recognise where the field boundary is. So we now shouldn't have any problems with it crashing. Again, we have this field problem here. But as we're starting at the end, we should be okay. We'll probably do the last bit ourselves anyway. So what I'm going to do before the combine is full is head over to the other side of the field, start this thing off, and hopefully leave it until the field is done. With the exception of that end. And with a bit of luck, we'll get back to the combine before it is full. Ninety-seven percent. I don't think we're going to do it though. It doesn't matter. In fact, look, it's actually negotiated these telegraph poles without any help at all. In fact, it should be okay. That timing could not have been better. Only thing is, this probably won't all fit in the trailer. I know it will. Yeah, so that has actually gone really well. So we'll leave the trailer here until it's full again. Back to the cultivator. Let's see if it's still on track. If it turns around at the end here, then it is. I did have a bit of a problem down the other end. But it seems to have fixed itself. Yeah, when it got down the other end, it just kept going. Even though it had gone past the boundary here, where I've laid it out, it just kept going and going and going until it crashed into the hedge. So I don't know why that was. At the end we'll have to, of course, get rid of these little, as someone called them, tadpoles once, I seem to remember. Yeah, it leaves a little bit each time when it's on a worker, so we'll just get rid of them at the end. But it looks like it is actually going well. I will just have to double check next time it gets to the other end to make sure it's still going well. 
It is overlapping, actually. A considerable amount. But fingers crossed. So here we are at the other end of the field. With a bit of luck, it will turn round. It will, but we might not have got up and down enough because it's still going to crash. But that should be enough for it. Just as long as it doesn't crash again. It was fine, except for the hedge. So it could be able to finish this field on its own now. And we'll have to get back to the combine because I think it's almost finished that side of the field. We'll have to transfer it over to the next side. Same field number, just a different side. Right, it's got to that stage where it's in the centre. Makes it very difficult for it, so we'll just do it ourselves. We'll spend most of its time turning around if we just leave it on the worker. That's what you get with these triangular shaped fields. And the final bit. The other side of the field doesn't actually have any obstacles at all in it. I'm guessing, with the uh, lack of crashing in this field, that these posts in this field are actually invisible. I'm guessing there is no collision. Because I find it hard to believe it went round them. I didn't see it doing it, but it's just hard to believe. This should fill the trailer. Then we can put this into the barn. Hopefully the case is still going. Can't see it, but it might just be the view distance. Good, so I think that's going to get on okay now. We're going to empty the trailer because that's full. Uh, the case is still going, thankfully. Obviously if we, if it stops, if the worker stops, the little asterisk next to the name of the case on the inspector mod, on the top left hand side of the screen, will disappear. So we should know if there's any problems. But yeah, it, it is still going, so we'll leave it to get on. shed door's already open so it should just be a case of reversing straight in there is a bucket there somewhere there it is But that is starting to fill the shed up. We've actually got probably quite a lot of money sitting in there with the wheat and now the canola. Head back to the field. The case is still going. It's good to see. I think it's all sorted now. And it shouldn't actually take too long to do that because it is a relatively decent size cultivator, especially for the size of the tractor. just park here and we'll get into the combine.
this side of the field is fairly small but I still wouldn't want to be doing it with that new Holland Combine that I'm so pleased that we have actually transferred to this one although it seems a bit weird just inheriting a Combine like that I think it was for the best because it was a very small Combine but yeah we've, we've got pigs and beef which need work I really would like to do them as soon as possible um, we obviously just need to make some hay bales and then we can do We can't do mixed ration just yet, but yeah, very soon we will be able to. Okay, so we're going to empty going back down again. I've only gone around the headland once because it doesn't really seem necessary to go around anymore. There's already a great big huge grass border here. this field I think when we when we reseed it I think it will likely be wheat or barley because obviously it's canola now and that is probably a good crop to put in it afterwards it'd be close to the yard for transporting bales and really it's not the best shape I wouldn't have thought for sugar beet or potatoes so I think that's what it would be it'd be cereal field number eight will be potatoes I want to do sugar beet as well I just don't think this is the best food for it and obviously renting or buying sugar beet and potato harvesters is very expensive so we won't be able to do both of them straight away anyway the combine is empty once again we'll park the tractor out of the way we'll check up on the case which is getting on very well it's missed a bit over there it obviously just didn't like that bit we'll, we'll finish off everything at the end We'll neaten it all up, but it's actually doing a, a half decent job here. At least it's nice and straight. And it's it's over a third of the way across, coming up to halfway. So yeah, we'll leave it to it. Here I am in the Massey Ferguson 698. I'm ready to just mix some silage up really. It's not going to be a mix of different things, it's literally just going to be some silage bales just to give the cows something to live on, basically. Um, so we've got the skid steel loader again. We've got some bales, not many. We have to do a lot more silage bales and a lot more hay bales. We've got many straw bales though. And I think, <laughs> look at the angle that's sitting at. Yeah, I think the silage bales which we have have pretty much been overgrown now anyway. It's been a while. They're in here somewhere. Yes, there they are. Tucked away. There's three or four. I think we'll probably put three in here, or whatever it takes to fill it, if we can reach. Wow, 
I didn't think we'd have a problem with this. We can reach, just about. It's not ideal. Oh, okay. One bale. They must have been big bales. That's 95%. So, one bale it is. We'll put the skid steer away. And when we're ready, we will get a tractor and take that down to the yard. Don't really want to take it on the Matty Ferguson because, well, for a start, we've got a 700 kilo weight on there, which is a bit heavy. And also the angle. <laughs> we don't really want to be digging the road up as we go. So we'll leave it here until we're ready to transfer. But again, what a fantastic yard shunter. This is the first time I've looked at the map from the air, an aerial view. And it looks different to what I thought it did, actually. I didn't realise we were so close to the boundary here. Most of the map is that way, all over there. And this over here... Is this our pigs? No, it's not. It's our sheep. Over here. So we're going to have to do some work over here. There is our cultivator. That is doing a brilliant job. Of course, the combine over there. And uh, our cow farm is way over there in the distance. Here's the sheep field. We very rarely go here, actually. We really should make more use of it. Totally deserted. It's something we'll have to do in a future episode. And there is their field. So it's a nice place to be, this. It's nice and secluded, so yeah, the sheep are something which we're going to be doing very soon. Obviously the cows we're working on now, and then the pigs and the beef will be after that. Just got the great demand thing up for pigs at the livestock market. It's a shame we don't have any pigs. If only it was for wheat, because we have a lot of wheat. Or even canola. Right, let's get this thing off a worker. We'll do it ourselves. Save a bit of money. We're virtually done anyway, so just a, a tiny bit of finishing up. I actually really regret not putting any fertiliser on this field. It was already planted when we started off, but clearly it wasn't fertilised. And there is a, a very noticeable difference of uh, the yield which you get out of it. Okay, so 87% full now. Back onto a worker for the final bit. We need to go over to our New Holland. Unload what we can into the trailer. Which isn't a great deal, 39%. And go and tip it and then come back for the final bit. Which won't be much. Right, so that is 100% full, leaving 37% in the Combine Harvester. It'll probably be just short of 50% when it's done. Um, but really, for an unfertilised field, we've actually done pretty well, I think. And the case is still going. So it hasn't hit any boundaries or anything. It was a difficult start, but once it's going, it's great. I like these muddy tracks, they're like really deep ruts. You can actually stay in them quite well because they're so deep. it's easier going that way. You don't have to reverse as far. 
Now I'll have to check how much we've actually harvested. There was already a bit in there, so it's more than 30,000 litres. It's not a great deal, but if we get it at the right time, it'll still be worth a fair bit. Instead of going all the way over there, I will just park the tractor here, because we're coming back here anyway to take the header off, so we'll just drive the combine back. But that is not a bad day's work really, for the speed we usually go at on this map, I think we've done quite a lot. In the case, I've just checked on, on the case with the cultivator, it's almost finished. Obviously, a bit of tidying up will be in order, but most of it is done. And this field is also done. So we'll drive over here, take the header off, tip the trailer, take the trailer off, and then attach to the feed mixer, take that down to the cow farm, give them the feed, and we'll call it a day. But I think we'll probably leave the combine in the field for now. should be okay and now let's go back to the yard and get the silage mixer and also we'll check how much canola we've got in here the trailer can stay in here So here we are, canola, 43,976 litres, that is £1,145 per tonne, I think on a £1,179 per tonne, and that is um, likely then to give us over probably over 60,000 or so, quite likely. So um, yes, back into the New Holland, and we'll go and take the mixer. Yep, not really the tractor for it. It did a good job though. In fact, it even looks big on this tractor. So it's not going to be the best mix ever, but at least they've got something. They should still appreciate it. And in fact, it stopped there, so they only took 80%. But anyway, we're going to be finishing another episode in this position. That's the second one we've done. Um, but yes, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. And I'm really looking to speed up the process of farming this map. Because I know we've been taking it slow. I'd like to make it a little faster, a bit more exciting. 
But yeah, I think it is getting better. So thank you for watching, and please do join me again soon. Bye for now.